As I mentioned, a lot of these poems may have more general relevance, to the extent that they have any relevance at all, but they are also occasional poems in the sense that they are stimulated by individuals and by occasions, and they act as a sort of uh, testimony very often of international uh, friendship and um, cooperation, which is one of the great things one can get from uh, Latin studies and from poetry. The next one I'd like to uh, read you is um, addressed to an individual that I hope uh, may have uh, wider connotations. Many of you, I'm sure, do like um, pet animals, um, cats or dogs. I have here both a dog poem and a cat poem. I've got the honour of Gina, who has cats, I might read a cat poem. Um, this is on page 15 of your handout. And on the other side, on page 16, is the dog poem, which I won't read perhaps, but which is um, in, in the voice of a very sweet uh, Polish dog, who, uh, being extremely learned, thought he ought to be engaged in one of the conferences we, we were having, a, Pomer a learned Pomeranian dog. But um, on page um, 15, you have the uh, cat poem, which I will read, and you do have the, uh, I'm sure, entirely unnecessary luxury of an English translation, which you wish to uh, consult it. Um, the owner of this particular cat is uh, a learned uh, Belgian lady uh, by name uh, Janine de Lancia, who, like many other Belgians, was very kind to me during my time there and on other occasions. And she has a cat uh, whose name in, in Dutch is uh, Lupe, which is the affectionate diminutive for Lipsius, who is a famous uh, um, a humanist scholar. So this is quite a learned cat. Um, it also has, well, charming char personal characteristics that cats uh, do, and um, Janine uh, saves the little um, little pots of cream that you get given in uh, continental cafes to go with your coffee and uh, gives them to her cat. So that's uh, one of the uh, issues that I refer to in the poem. Um, so you have a translation. You may notice that the first letter of each line is uh, highlighted, or put in bold, in this version. That, that's because the poem is what is known as an acrostic, which I, I find quite a stimulating um, extra restriction sometimes. <laughs> in that, uh, obviously, it makes it more difficult because you've got to decide in advance what letter each line is going to start with, but it uh, adds a, a little extra stimulation sometimes. And this is this is how she addresses her cat. Lupe, Lupe, Lupe. Come, come here, Lupe. So, down the beginning of the lines, that's what it reads. Lack cafe. Lac minimo servatum dulce cululo, ut que soles dominae placias, captes que bibendo pectus, in urbanis vix umquam moribus usa, perge foras terror ridendis moribus saudas, et ranis cresu tandem tua regna superbo lustres, post tua lustra. Bibendi suaviter, annum undecimum laite tetigisti lactis aperti. Herge sagax feles, quam quam non carmina condis, praebes et munus, quod curet lipsius aequum. Exerces tacito naturam felis honore, laititiam doctae dominae feliciter offers. Ullum rivalem fastidis cauta, perenni praeponis glaucum, corpus languore susurrans, perque dies dominae, retum patienter amatae expectas, it a lac dignum farmamque mereris, you deserve your milk and your fame. 